Okay, so... Now that I'm on my way to get sex reassignment surgery, I've just been having all these, you know, feelings and emotions. Things that I'm... that are kind of new to me, and so... I thought I would share them just in case they might be of benefit to other people going through this. Now, keep in mind that in in my case things might be just a little bit different because I'm, the because I'm autistic, but hopefully people can find, you know, find some use in these videos. So, you know, it just it really just occurred to me that, you know, like yeah, I'm finally becoming a woman, and it's kind of, it's kind of scary, you know? I mean, granted, it's it's really exciting, but it's still kind of scary, because, you know, on the one hand, I understand that, you know, gender is what's between your ears and sex is what's between your legs, but until recently, I never really felt like a woman, except on very rare occasions, I'd get like sort of little flashes of it, I guess. And But now, that term is becoming more and more meaningful. You know, it's... You know, it's... I don't want to make it seem like sex reassignment surgery is going to solve all your problems and all your identity issues, because it's not. You know? If you have trouble, you know, living your life as a woman, um... Yeah, getting a vagina is not going to fix that. But... You know, in... But... You know, in my case, it does... It does seem to be very significant, and it's it's really kind of unusual, I guess is the way to put it. You know? And I imagine other people go through these same kinds of thought processes when they're on their way to surgery, you know, because this is all all sort of... I was going to say uncharted territory, and it, yeah, it's, I mean, lots of people have done it, so it's not entirely uncharted territory, but for me it is, you know, it's, this is all, all new, and it's just really just kind of amazing that I think I'm finally going to have those issues dealt with completely. You know, I mean, of course, I've still got other issues, but at least the gender issues, it seems like they're going to be taken care of. You know, and for for a long time, I haven't really identified as a woman. It's kind of, the term has been kind of like, yeah, I guess I'm that, okay, whatever. But like I said, you know, that term is becoming a lot more meaningful. You know, which, you know, people like to, some people like to say that gender is a social construct, and, well, my experiences definitely suggest otherwise. Because as I become closer to being physically female, as, well, as best as, as best as science can manage, the more I feel like a woman, and so... You know, there's there's something in my brain that's that sees these things starting to match up and it's like, yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to be. So if I didn't have if if gender was simply a social construct, why would I feel this way? I don't think I would. You know, and but yeah, all of this is just, it's, it's kind of scary, you know? <clears throat> I mean, like I said, it's all terribly exciting, and I'm, I'm really just, I'm really happy that this is all happening. But, but yeah, it is, 
it is pretty scary. And, you know, getting the surgery itself is its own level of scary, but in some respects, just that part itself right now the, is not what's really making me feel kind of scared. It's more just the fact that I'm actually going to be a woman, and it's 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 just this this like amazing thing that's just scary as shit you know and so yeah it's i mean it's just it's a it's amazing that this is all that this is all finally happening and yeah it's it's also terribly fascinating the way all of this is you know affecting my the perception of my gender and i mean it's just all these things are finally starting to fall into place and it's like oh yeah this is this is right you know and everything's falling into place in ways that it never did you know and of course that's something that's been happening over the past several months anyway you know getting back on hormones it's like oh yeah that's exactly what i need to be doing and all these things are falling into place but finally you know this last domino falling into place it's like oh yeah that's that's what it's supposed to be and then yeah and it's i'm just yeah i i'm just not entirely sure you know how to handle a lot of these emotions you know autistic people have trouble dealing with emotions and apparently according to my therapist i'm a little better at the emotional stuff than some people are so and i'm better able to articulate my emotions than other autistic people which is which i guess is a good thing but still though it's it's yeah it's just this whole combination of amazing and frightening all at the same time and I wonder if there's any other trans people who see this. Have you felt that way? You know? Because I guess it's normal to be somewhat to be somewhat scared because this is not a, a simple procedure necessarily. You know? But yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess I've just been kind of rambling a bit, but but yeah, it's just it's just so amazing, just it's just amazing that this is all falling into place. And so yeah, there's definitely no doubt in my mind that this is the right thing to do and so you know there are people who argue against allowing people to do this sort of thing but and you know for some people it's a very bad idea I mean you do have examples of people who transitioned and got the surgery and then regretted it but I the way, given the way I feel right now, I can't imagine that I would ever go. Why the Why the hell did I do that? Sure, after right after the surgery, it's not uncommon to think, "What the hell did I get myself into?" Because when you're dealing with a lot of pain and discomfort, that's going to be a fairly normal response. But on the whole, I don't think I'll ever say, "Why did I do this?" I I just, I can't imagine that I would regret it, you know? 
But I will say this, if this is something you're thinking of doing, it's really important to really explore yourself and make sure that this is what you need to do. Okay? This is something that, it needs to be something that is not just something you want to do, but it needs to be something that you know you need to do. You know? If, it's, if this is something that you need to do to truly be happy and at peace with yourself, then do it. But you need to be absolutely certain. You know? And as much as it might kind of suck to do so, I highly recommend taking it slow. You know? Get on hormones and you know, live as a woman for a few years, you know? Don't feel like you need to jump in on everything right away. You know, make sure that you've had some time to adjust, you know? Because like I said, if you cannot function as a woman, then having a vagina is not going to change that. You know, because all it does is changes your genitals. It doesn't magically make you pass. You know, if... If people perceive you as a man, like I said, you know, a vagina is not going to change that because nobody's going to see it. So you need to be able to properly function. The other thing that I think is important is you really need to figure out who you are. Because, you know, this is something that everybody goes through. When you're younger, you know, you kind of, you figure out who you are and then maybe, you know, you might get into a certain style and then try that out and decide, well, no, I guess really I'm not a punk or I'm not a goth or whatever, you know. And it might take a while to figure, and it, t and it takes a certain amount of time to figure that out. Well, if you didn't have the opportunity to be a teenage girl, you didn't have the opportunity to figure all that out. So... You know, you might want to give yourself a chance to be a teenage girl for a little while, you know? Maybe take five years to really explore yourself and really figure yourself out, you know? And once you've figured yourself out and you've determined that this is something you need to do, then by all means, do it. And, you know, there's plenty, there are plenty of trans women who are very feminine. And I wonder, I have to wonder how many of them, are they actually that feminine? Or are they more like playing a role, you know? Are they presenting themselves that way because they think that's what they need to do? You know? Because I can just about guarantee you that... After I get sex reassignment surgery, I will probably become, my appearance anyway, will become less feminine. Probably, you know? I mean, I'm just looking forward to the day where I could just throw on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and walk out the door and be perfectly comfortable doing so. And I suspect at that point, that's probably largely what I'll wear, you know? So, yeah, so hopefully people will find this, this little uh, ramble of mine useful, and I will keep making more of these as things come up, and so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and yeah, I guess, I guess that'll do it.